Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? There's my co-host, Errol. Uh, we really do pray, family, that you are very well in all your ways and that you're moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. In all your ways, family, and that you're moving into living life very much on your own terms. And so much is happening on the motherland so much is going on across the world, family. And, you know, remember that the world that Babylon has put us in is a massive stage. And everyone is merely an actor. A lot of us, well, not, not all of us, but uh, many, many millions and millions and even billions are actually just, um, you know, supporting acts, the extras, watching as this whole crazy show plays out but don't miss your opportunity to transition into a new world because of babylon's fuckery <laughs> because of babylon's bs family uh, they are not the most important thing that is happening right now the world is going through a massive renewal a massive shifting um, there's so much it's like mama earth a living and breathing plane of reality all of nature all of the elementals earth air water fire ether and others that we're not even aware about are literally going through a cleansing and it's right on time because if it wasn't happening now family we would you know the world would have been destroyed with us in it this plane would have been destroyed with us in it but that's not going to happen uh, the new dispensation is already coming in. And what you need to do, family, is to ensure that you are getting, you, that you have a, a spiritual practice. Ensure that daily you are manifesting what you want to see in the world. That you are manifesting the kind of life you want to live and don't make it too material because the old material is falling away. That you are constantly preparing your inner man family and that you're remaining in a high vibration and not allowing Babylon to affect how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the world. Because we're in a vibrational war right now. We're also in a frequency war. There's so many patents, family, for controlling people through certain frequencies, all these, these dark technologies through radio waves and everything. They've been planning for this. And somehow they did kind of, they've shifted us into a new reality, but I don't believe they're in full control of that. What I know is that a new world is here. There is a restoration going on that we even we are feeling. Even we are experiencing and we are affecting the world as well through these experiences, family. It's like as the world wakes up and heats up, you honor the ancestors in the wind. It's like a direct reflection of I and I waking up and expanding our thinking. Everything is going through this massive change, family. So don't, don't allow. We honor the ancestors in the wind. Don't allow Babylon to be the author of your new book of life. Don't allow Babylon to be the author of this upcoming experience of this new because they have no idea what is waiting for you family if you are an ancient one if you are a chosen one please definitely make sure you subscribe to my other channel dr mumbi spiritual show i'm going to really be talking about the next layer the next level of why we came you see those that are in control have no way out they have no way to get out and to avoid what is coming. They've researched enough to know that Mama Earth is going through like a restoration experience. They know what happens
you either have the codes where you can, you know, accelerate and elevate with Mama Earth or you don't. They've been using us to create their world, to make them wealthy. They steal from us. They steal from all the indigenous people in the world. They misuse, they abuse all the indigenous people in the world. And the reason they do it is because we can get out but they can't and all those doors that's why they even you know before they would never have had children with our women from whatever indigenous community and now they're promoting the black wife effect but nothing they do all is vanity family because those of us who are chosen have been awakened and we're being prepared with or without the distractions of Babylon. But what I'm finding is if you're still entertaining the distractions of Babylon, it's becoming intense to separate yourself from their reality and prepare for the role you have to play to anchor in the new life, the new reality. In a twinkle of an eye, we will be given back custody of this world. In a twinkle of an eye, many of the leaders, the gates of this world, even their names, the world is really a theater family. Many of them will no longer be present. And we will have had to find, we will have had to have developed that discernment and understanding and knowledge of what life is for ourselves so that we can see the emerging leaders that are coming. Our, our so-called independence was already hijacked at the last minute some 50, 60, 60 years ago, family. Some great leaders of our ancient and not so ancient past are back to help us get out of this mess because actually it's our group consciousness that is all, excuse my French, messed up, entangled. We're so entangled with so many lies, so many untruths. And Babylon loves to mimic what Mama Earth is doing because Mama Earth is resetting us back to our original makeup. And our consciousness is being, you know, guided into a higher elevated state through some of these great minds because you can't, you, you know, they've rigged the, Group consciousness. Actually, the only thing we're fighting for family is the group consciousness and our own narrative. Disentangling our narrative from Babylon over in an understanding what our story really is. And when enough of us reach a tipping point, when in, and it doesn't even mean like all of us, but when a certain number of us really, really know that deeply, our entire reality will change. So keep high vibrational Keep working on yourself and enhance your spiritual connection to the Most High, your ancestors, the ancient ones. They are guiding you. A lot of us have key roles to play as presidents of nations, as judges, as mothers and fathers of the new uh, generation, the ones who will already be reset. A lot of us have, um, have been prepared for such a time as this to move into a consciousness liberation movement. Because once we have our group consciousness, we're good. But a lot has been done to slow us down physically, mentally, psychically, emotionally. But they could never touch our soul and they could never touch the spirit. And in fact, a lot of them don't even have a soul. And that's why we're going to be seeing a lot of them exiting. But I'll be talking a lot more about how you can assist yourself on the secondary channel, Dr. Mobi Spiritual Show family. So definitely subscribe to that. Make sure you're still subscribed to here. I see thousands of you have been added again. Um, so we're moving on up. We're grateful for that. And thanks to everyone that supports us on Patreon or sends us a love donation through PayPal. And if you'd like to support the channel, get in touch, mumbi.saraki at gmail.com. And you know what? If you're some baller out there and you want to help create a television station or something like that, an online citizenry kind of voice for our people, 
email me, mumbi.sarati at gmail.com. Tuko pamoja.